Hello and welcome. Next case in probability distribution is an urn or box contains seven white and three red balls. Seven white, three red balls. That is total number of balls ten. Two balls are drawn together at random. Out of these ten balls, two balls are drawn together at random. Compute probability that neither of them is white. Also find probability of getting one white and one red ball. Hence compute expected number of white balls. But it is very clear that to find the expected number of white balls, we should have the probability distribution of number of white balls. Now if we draw two balls out of ten, there can be no white ball or one white ball. That means one white and one red. Or two white balls. So we have to find out probability of all the three possible mutually exclusive and exhaustive outcomes. The fact is, two balls out of ten are drawn, and two out of ten balls can be drawn in ten c two ways. And ten c two means ten factorial upon two factorial into ten minus two factorial. Therefore, ten c two equals to 10 into 9 into 8 factorial because 10 minus 2 factorial will be 8 factorial and 2 factorial will be 2 into 1 and 8 factorial so we can cancel the 8 factorial from numerator as well as denominator 2 can be cancelled against 10 by 5 so it is 45 45 different ways of drawing two balls out of 10 is possible now we are interested in white balls The first possibility is no white ball is drawn. The random variable x representing the number of white balls takes value zero. The probability of this zero white ball will be no white ball out of seven, seven c zero, and all the two balls out of three, three c two upon ten c two. So, so the probability will be ten seven c one is. 7c0 is 1 3c2 is 3 and 10c2 is 45 so it comes to 3 by 45 or 1 by 15 the other possible outcome is one white ball is drawn now total two balls are drawn if only one white ball is drawn that means another must be red So the case is actually one white and one red ball. The probability of one white ball is one white out of seven and one red out of three because actually we draw two balls. Seven C one seven three C one three upon ten C two is forty five. So it comes to twenty one by forty five or seven by fifteen. And the third possibility is. All the two balls are white. If we draw two balls, both are white. That means two white balls are drawn. So random variable x takes value two. The probability will be two out of seven, seven c two, and none out of three, three c zero, n c two, seven c two, seven into six divided by two. That is twenty one, twenty one. 3 c 0 is 1 upon 45 so ultimately the probability comes to 21 upon 45 or 1 by 15 sorry 7 by 15 i'm very sorry these three are mutually exclusive and exhaustive cases if we draw two balls out of these ten number of white balls can be either 0 or 1 or 2 these are three mutually exclusive and exhaustive cases the proof is The summation of these three probabilities comes to one. One plus seven plus seven, fifteen. Fifteen upon fifteen, that is one. Now we can write the probability distribution. Probability distribution of white balls. X that represents number of white balls drawn. That can be zero or one or two. P of X. Probability of this respective number of balls or drawing this respective number of balls for zero white balls it is one by fifteen for one white ball it is seven by fifteen and for two white ball also it is seven by fifteen. 
to have the expected number of balls we should have the column of x into p of x 0 into anything remains 0 1 into 7 by 15 is 7 by 15 2 into 7 by 15 is 14 by 15 the summation comes to 21 by 15 this is e of x or sigma x into p of x that is nothing but the expected value so expected number of white balls equals to e of x equals to 21 by 15 both can be divided by 3 so it is 7 by 5 so it can be say 1.4 but we know that number of balls can never be in decimal values but this is result of calculations we cannot do anything so in this way also we can construct a probability distribution of the target event and can calculate the expected value. That's it.